smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth! Smooth! Oh! 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 And I'm back home, so I spent the day at Arabian Kato Festival here in Helsinki, which roughly translated means Arabia, which is a part of the city, uh, street festivals. So there was a lot of things going on there, we just walked around and then we just get, got something to eat and just chilled and talked and well, the normal thing, just re really not doing anything, just relaxing and spending time together. But we're actually going to New York in a couple of days, so I need, have a few technical things I want to do. I want to, one, I want to make a setup tour. So I have something to upload if I don't make a video every single day. And the second thing I want to check is if this external battery actually works with my computer. Because, well, it's supposed to work but I haven't tested it so I need to figure that out. And three, I need to throw the RAM back in the computer because they're just on the box now and I haven't put them back even though it's like a week since I was with my friend trying to make it fit into his computer. That's actually a whole separate video. I'm linking that video in this corner because, well, it's a nice video and I think you should check it out. So. But next up we're checking if the external battery works with my computer. So USB-C is the new standard, it's replacing this old USB-A standard which you've all seen and you're all familiar with. So this is reversible, so I can plug it in like this, or I can just switch around, plug it in like this, and it will still just work fine. And it's also really nice because normally a power bank like this wouldn't be able to charge a computer, but it will actually charge this. Well, I haven't tried it yet, so let's see if it actually works, but it's supposed to be able to charge this computer, even though it doesn't output at full speed. It's still supposed to be able to charge the computer at a somewhat decent rate. But let's check it out, let's see what happens. So, I'm gonna plug it in right here, and as you can see there, battery is charged, and it actually has a little charging icon up there. So it says, power source, power adapter, which means that everything works fine. This power bank without a problem charges my computer which is actually fantastic but anyways I'm supposed to get like one and a half times the battery and which is really nice because we're going on a flight for nine hours to New York so any extended battery life for my computer is going to be appreciated it's still gonna probably die if I edit anyways but let's see hopefully I'll get some more battery out of it like this okay so I just figured out a new thing I wanted to do so this is tax 1.5 I guess and uh, so, below my computer I have this sweet D-brand skin which makes it uh, titanium black, I believe the color is called. It's looking quite sweet I think. I actually don't have it on the top side because I like the space grey look. But now that I'm going on a trip I kind of want something to protect my computer even more than normally. So, so let's put the top skin on the computer and see how sweet it will actually look. So if any D-brand employees see this, sponsor me, I use your products and everything and yeah, I love them. So now I have a black, titanium black MacBook Pro, which is looking dope AF. <laughs> Sorry, which is looking sweet. I'm really digging the looks of this, and it's gonna be nice to have some extra, uh, one extra layer of protection when I'm traveling with it and throwing it in my backpack and stuff. So I appreciate that these skins are there because I hate putting something that re that's really bulky on anything. I hate putting it on my phone and I hate putting it on my computer. So. I love these skins because they add literally half a millimeter of bulk, so nothing at all, and they still protect the device really well. Okay, next up we're recording my setup tour. So that's it, the setup tour is complete. I'm not actually quite sure if I'm posting the setup tour first or this vlog first, but 
You guys will see if the setup tour is not shaft live. Wait a couple of days. If you just watch the setup tour, well, there you go. It should be linked right up here if it's live. If it's not, well, too bad. Wait a couple of days. Okay, so final task right now. Putting these two RAM sticks back into this computer, which is my old computer, which I'm just keeping in case I ever need a computer. I said this in the video I linked earlier, so the video where I explained what I did with this RAM. So once again, it's in the description if you want to check it out, because I can't link it twice up here, I believe. If I can, it's right here, but... And this white protective shit is so annoying. Why does it always make a freaking mess? I don't understand. I've actually been thinking about this. The problem with the vlogs right now, I believe, is that they don't have a... They don't have a theme. And I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think the, the vlog should have a theme? Or is it okay that I just upload whatever I'm doing? Or should I start trying to produce the same type of videos every single time? But because I believe that would unify my viewers and make you guys watch every single video and not just a few which ones you look, think look interesting. But I don't know, that's just my theory and if you think I'm completely 100% wrong, let me know. But do you guys watching like watching me <laughs> ripping apart technology and then putting it back together? Or do you guys prefer watching my day? Or Really, what type of videos are your favorite of mine? Because currently I create so many different videos, so I just want to know if you guys have a favorite or if you like watching everything or yeah just comment with your ideas and if you have any favorites otherwise if you like everything I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing that's what I love about YouTube I can create anything and some of you guys at least will watch it which I obviously appreciate but now the RAM is back in and I'm just gonna put this computer back together real quick. So that's it for this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, we're leaving for New York in a couple of days and I believe that's the next time when I do vlogs. Next time will be actually a travel vlog and I hope you guys will enjoy that too. So that's it for me today and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.